Hi, I'm Nash Lin, and thank you for watching iLearnToAnimate.com. How do we decide how many segments we need? When it comes to 3D modeling, there is no such thing as a curve. A curve is always created because of the points, what we call vertices, to create a roundness. Let me give you an example. Cylinder. Okay. Now, this cylinder, it looks to you that it is round, but it's because there's the segments or the divisions that creates the, the, the roundness of it. If I were to reduce the round the segments by very little, you can see that it starts to get jagged. Okay, and from here you can see that it is oh, it's just a hexagonal uh, object, or uh, eight-sided object. Okay, and if we were to increase this, you can start to find that it starts to smoothen out. But if you dislike, and you can see that it, it is still sharp edges around. Okay, no matter what you do when you are doing modeling, segments or curves, for example the IMM body, curves are created because you add in various segments to make it round. Okay, so I'm going to delete this because I'm using this for an uh, the explanation. So, when we are going to do low poly modeling, we should try to get the lowest amount of polygons to create the roundness of the cur the curviness of the model okay now why do i use low poly modeling low poly modeling it is easy to manage and when if you are going to change it to a high poly model it is very easy because you can just add a smoothness to it and you can actually something like this you can add a, a sub diff poxy and you can smoothen it but if you start off with very high poly to model you will ha be having a lot of trouble trying to create a good shape out of it okay so it's always you use um, something like this which is um, prox uh, sub diff proxy to <laughs> allow the computer to help you create the curviness instead of you yourself creating the curviness okay in 3d max uh, you can actually use uh, turbo smooth but in maya it's called a sub diff proxy okay so let us just think uh, i'm not very sure how many segments i really need until i give my give it an assessment in terms of the vertical segment the height i think i do not need you know sorry in terms of width for this Okay, I don't think I will need so many for now. I will try with four first. Always start with a little bit lower. In case it's not enough, you can always cut out the segments later on. Okay. And I'm starting with a plane because later on I can just create the box out easily. So don't worry about this part. I'm going to just uh, go ahead with this. Uh, am I satisfied with this amount of segments? Let me just check. Um... Where do you actually need a curve? Okay, you f take for example this whole back as a straight line. Okay, the point at the end over here and here definitely you need a point. And the point where you actually have a change in direction of the curve, that's where you need a uh, a, a vertex a segment. Okay, so for example one two three four five that is how i calculate and sometimes if your curve is a very nice curve over here you might need about one or two more extra just to create the roundness for it okay so um i think i might stick with seven why why seven because one two three four because for over here i think it's a very nice slim figure for him three four five six seven so that's how i would do again when you're doing modeling there's a lot of trial and errors even if it's not enough you can always add it in later okay go with the max the front i think is uh, still able to make do with the seven segment for now okay so once i'm done i can actually just uh, hide this away i don't need this anymore and let can we can start to shape this out okay when we do low poly modeling 
it is very similar to sculpting okay so how do I sculpt this I right click on my mouse okay and hold it there okay and then you can see that you are given a lot of options when you drag your mouse circular manner okay so I'm gonna start with the edge uh, vertex sorry I'm gonna start with the vertex vertex is the point edge means the segments okay the lines the lines in between two vertex and face means it's a polygon that means it is a, a four-sided or three-sided a, a, a surface okay so I'm gonna start with vertex and you can see that the uh, the vertex has appeared um, and I am going to sculpt this just by using the simple three um, three tools that I have move rotate and scale okay I do not try to try to make things complicated using different tools because I think this is the easiest way okay so I'm going to sculpt so how do I sculpt with this I start with selecting marquee select the polygons I need and then I will just scale them to an appropriate width uh, for this okay you can see that over here there are two segments don't worry later on we can chip this off imagine uh, modeling as a form of art when you are doing a, a real life um, sculpting where you actually start with a huge piece of stone and you slowly um, try to get the shape out using that okay so I'm gonna just shift it in like this okay this is another mat uh, another way again if you find that this part is too sharp too harsh don't worry we can always add in um, points later on if we really find that it is necessary to have it as a, a more round rounder shape okay so continue to just select this and scale and move okay and select this no I will just start with this scale okay and mm, Okay, then over here you might want to consider um, the circle over here but this circle this the, the heart of the Iron Man is not actually causing the shape of the chest so I'm gonna ignore it for now because later on I can just add in a cylindrical object and create the heart shape of that so I'm gonna ignore that so that's how my planning goes okay so I'm gonna continue with the back Okay, the front, okay, I can just use my scale. It's much easier to scale it and to move it. Okay, scale to be precise. Okay, when you are modeling, um, the quality of your work depends on how much observation you put into creating a uh, as accurate model as possible to your reference image. Okay, and as for this, now, you can actually use your rotate tool and rotate to get the shape out okay if you find that it's too long and command Z to undo you can press your skill first to scale a little bit smaller and then rotate okay and by looking from front view this is also a cylindrical object um, I'm going to leave out the detail for that part for now why because I can always uh, extrude it later on okay I'm just going to try to refine this part uh, follow it as close as possible okay uh, a few tips is when you are doing low poly modeling or uh, any type of modeling we avoid having any surface that are um, more than four sided so for example this is uh, one two three four four sided and that is good okay anything more you actually create an ambiguity when you are doing your um, rendering so avoid that for now I can't show you but um, just to heads up oh, this is a belly beer belly Iron Man so I'm gonna just trim this guy off okay trim okay I'm gonna put this Okay, and you actually find that my model is 
the 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 horizontal segment is all horizontal i do not have something like this up and down okay because um i'm not sure how it will look like when i'm doing my side view my front view so i'm going to try to have them horizontal as much as possible for so that i can understand the topology of my model uh easier okay so let's just try to sculpt it like this okay and once you got almost there you can save your file command s to save um this is a student version of course I you can download it from autodeskstudent.com. Okay, so uh, this is the shape I've got. 